Hello my friends, today we're on Photoshop and I'm going to show you a really, really easy way to add atmosphere into your images. This is my image before and this is the after. This is before, this is the after. We'll take five different examples and I will show you how this method works for any kind of image. So let's start from the beginning. This is my image and the first thing I need to do is duplicate it. Command J to duplicate it. Then with the layer one selected, we will go over here into filters and choose neural filters. And then into the neural filters, scroll down over here under depth blur and we'll turn on the depth blur. Now this filter is used for blurring the background, but I do not need to blur the background in this case. All I want to do is to steal the depth map from it. So I'll go where it says blur strength. I'm just going to take it to the left, left, leave the image as it was. And then when you scroll down, I will click output depth map only. This is the only thing I want. As you can see, Photoshop made the depth map. What is black? It will be um, less blurry. And what is white, which is further away from the camera, will be more blurry because it's white. But like I said, we will not blur the background. We will just steal this depth map. So click on output depth map only and make sure you have output as a new layer and then click OK. So now that we have this depth map, all we need to do is change the blending mode from normal to screen and voila, we have atmosphere, but it's not looking very realistic. What we need to do is take away some of this atmosphere from closer to the camera. In order to do that, I will make a curves adjustment layer and then I'll make sure I will um, clip it to only the layer below to my depth map. So this is the button you need to click in order to create a clipping mask. And now with my curve adjustment selected, I'll just take the black point and move it to the right. And you see how the atmosphere kind of disappear from the foreground is going towards the background. If I go all the way to the right, it will all be gone. So let's move it back. And I think something like this looks more realistic. Now, if you see our colors in the image are a little bit more golden, so maybe we want to change this uh, fog, let's say. We want to make it a little bit warmer tone. So we can go over here into the channels. So I'll go to the red and just add a little bit of red into this fog. And then if I go to blue and take away some blue, that will add yellow and yellow with red makes orange. And there you go. Now we have a more realistic fog. If you feel like you have too much fog in the background, click on your uh, depth map and reduce the opacity. If I reduce it to zero, we're taking it completely out. And then we can add it gradually until something that looks good. So let's see again. This is my image before. This is the after. Let's take a different example. Let's do this one. The same as before, Command J to duplicate it. And then we will go to Filters, Neural Filters. And then click on Depth Map, Depth Blur. And now with the Depth Blur, we want to take the blur strength all the way to zero because we do not want to blur. You could blur if you want to. And then Output Depth Map only and make sure it's output on new layer. Click OK. And then, of course, we change the blending mode from normal to screen. And that is way too much. So let's create a curves adjustment layer just like before. We will clip it to the depth blur map. So click on this button and then move the black point to the right till it looks a little bit more realistic. And then we'll go to our depth blur map and reduce the opacity to something that looks more pleasing. Maybe something like that. So let's see again. This is our before and this is the after. And this is a really effective way to, to you know, make the background not as distractive. Let's try a different image. How about this woodland? Command J to duplicate the layer. Go to filter, neural filters. And then click on depth blur. Now here we take the blur strength all the way to zero and then scroll all the way to the bottom, output depth map only and make sure output to new layer. Click OK. And then change the blending mode from normal 
to screen. And that is way too much fog. So let's go to our curves. Make sure you clip it to the layer below. Take the black point, move it to the right until something looks more realistic. And then in this case, I want to make it a little bit more golden. So I will add some red into these curves. Not too much, but just a little bit. And then take away some blue and that will get it to be a little bit more orange. And of course, reduce the opacity of the depth blur. Increase it until it looks right to you. Something like that. So now the image, this is the before, this is the after. Before and after. Let's do a different example. Command J to duplicate the e image. Go to filter, neural filter. Same as before, click on depth blur. Make sure your blur strength is to zero. If we don't turn it to zero, the program will blur your background just like it did over here. So I'll take that to zero and then output depth map only and output on new layer. Click OK. And then here, just like before, turn the blending mode to screen, make our curves adjustment layer. I'll make sure I'll clip it. Take the blacks to the right until it looks right. And here is another case where I definitely want to warm it up. So I will add some reds and take away some blues, which means it adds yellow. There you go. And then, of course, opacity to your heart's desire. Maybe something like that. So this is our before. This is the after. Before and after. I think that was a little heavy handed. Maybe want to reduce the opacity even more. Great. Do we have any other examples? We did that one. Um, we did this one. And then let's try this one. Command J to duplicate the layer. Filter, neural filter. Depth blur. Take the blur strength to zero. Scroll down to the bottom. Output the depth map only. I'll put on a new layer. We're waiting for the program to generate our depth blur. There it is. Click OK. And then change the blending mode to screen and create a curves adjustment layer. Make sure you clip it. Move the blacks to the right until it looks right. And you can reduce the opacity of the depth blur until it looks right to you. So this is our before, this is the after, before and after. I hope this was helpful and you learned something new. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kyler Ewing and I'll see you in my next video.